I'm Jason UFC, and today we have a story about Israel Adesanya makes his prediction for Alex Pereira versus Yuri Pahowska UFC 295 light heavyweight championship match. Israel Adesanya will have a close eye on UFC 295 this weekend as the former two-time UFC middleweight champion and longtime rival Alex Pereira shoots for a feat um, Israel Adesanya failed to achieve back in 2021 in saturday's main event at madison square garden alex Pereira will return to the scene of his 185 pound crowning last november 2022 when he finished israel adesanya in the fifth and final round of their match this time around um alex Pereira is looking to to have a different piece of gold wrapped around his waist in New York City by defeating Yuri Pahowska for the vacant UFC Light Heavyweight Championship. Having shared a combat sports setting with Alex Pereira on four different occasions and failed in his own bid at two division glory less than three years ago, Israel Adesanya is well placed to provide an excellent assessment on Alex Pereira's chances. Israel Adesanya backs, backs Yuri Pahowska to halt Alex Pereira's light heavyweight ambitions. Excuse me. During a recent um upload on to his YouTube channel, go and subscribe to Israel Adesanya's YouTube channel and hit the thumbs up button. Of course, Israel Adesanya broke down the major matchups set to take place. Um, this Saturday at UFC 295. In terms of the headliner, the um, Israel Adesanya, the last style bender, acknowledged that Pereira already exceeded his expectations by emerging victorious from his light heavyweight debut against Jan Blakovich this past July in um, Salt Lake City. Um, side note, Israel Adesanya fought Jan um, Blakovic for the UFC Light Heavyweight Championship. I believe that was, I guess it was three years ago, two, three years ago. Despite that, Israel Adesanya is still backing Yuri Pahowska to be too much for Alex Pereira. This is what Israel Adesanya said. He, meaning Alex Pereira, did um, well, better than I expected against Jan Blakovic. Israel Adesanya says these middleweights should get on their knees and thank me because I got this man out of that the UFC uh, middleweight division. If not, you have to deal with him over and over again. All of you, he's talking about the middleweight division contenders. I doubt any of you would want to fight this guy. Okay, he's talking about the UFC middleweight division. Let's see what he has to say about... um. Um, Pahowska. I like this fight because they're both very unorthodox in their approach. Their fighting style, the way um, Pereira leg kicks, the way Yuri likes to own the space and throw combos, Israel Adesanya um, continue. Alex Pereira is a very special human. He's got a special ability when it comes to putting people to asleep. Alex got the bomb Pahowska has to try and defuse the bomb. That's what makes this exciting. Regardless, I'm going for Yuri Pahowska, it, and <laughs> and it doesn't go the distance. Okay, that's interesting. Hold on, what just happened there? Did I kick on something? Okay, yeah, that's basically that's um a little bit surprising. I would say. I mean, you kind of wanna if you ever lose to someone, you kind of always want them to win, so you can say, well, you know, I, I, at least I lost to the guy who's basically like undefeated, um, as Pereira is. I personally, am, I'm going with uh, Pereira in this fight. Like I said, we haven't seen um, Yuri Pahowska since last year. I don't know. It was like June, July, August of last year where he defeated um, Glover Teixeira in the fifth round of that fight. Um, I believe Yuri Pahowska was down on the scorecards on every single scorecard heading into the fifth round. So he needed a finish. So he was losing that fight. Glover Teixeira and Alex Pereira, you know, training partners, head coach, stuff like that. So they have a great relationship. Some people are thinking Alex Pereira is going into this fight with revenge on his mind. You know, there has to be some of that there, of course, but I think he's just going to this fight thinking, like, this is a fight. I'm going in there to win, whether he beat um, whoever he beat, right? That doesn't matter. He's not going to beat me, is what um, Pereira is thinking, more so than, hey, I got to get revenge for Glover Teixeira, right? Because you put in that mindset, you're going to end up losing the fight, right? Where you just go in there thinking, like, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a better fighter than Yuri Pahowska. I'm not Glover Teixeira. He's not going to defeat me. So I would go with Yuri. I mean, I would go with 
um, Alex Pereira in this fight, you know, because of the power, um, the reason why we haven't seen Yuri Pavska in over uh, 12 months, 14 months, is because he had a really nasty shoulder injury. It wasn't really too um, widely discussed, you know, when it came out, Dana White, UFC CEO, said it was like the worst shoulder injury he's ever seen or something like that. So we, we really don't know where Yuri Pavska is from that um, shoulder surgery, which happened probably less than, a little more than a year ago. You know, we haven't seen him um, in the octagon since then. And, you know, in that fight, I can't say he was look, looking bad, but he was losing a fight to Glover Teixeira, right? He was losing a fight um, heading into the fifth round. And um, Alex Pereira, has, this will be his fourth fight. Right, he fought um Israel Adesanya last November. He defeated Israel Adesanya. He lost to Israel Adesanya earlier this year, and then he defeated um Jan Blakovic. And when was that? In July or August? A few months ago. So Alex Pereira has been in the octagon. He's ready to go. He won the UFC middleweight championship last year in Madison Square Garden, the same area, same arena, and now he's going back to go for the UFC light heavyweight championship. I I tend to head towards um. Um, Alex Pereira. I'm going to have to go and watch that interview because, you know, um, Style Bender, Israel Adesanya was talking a lot about the middleweight division and he's talking a lot about Alex Pereira, but I would like to know what his, his opinion is on Drake du Plessis getting the UFC middleweight championship. That's what I want to hear, you know. You know that That's the conversation I would like to hear. But let me know your opinion of this story. Who do you think is going to win at UFC 297? 95, Alex Pereira versus Jerry Pauska. Um, Israel Adesanya is going. He's team Pauska. I'm um, team Pereira. I'm Jason, UFC. Today we had a story about uh, UFC former former UFC middleweight champion Israel Adesanya picks um, Yuri Pahowska to defeat Alex Pereira at UFC 295. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the $1 donation button, and please tune in to the next video on this channel. Thanks a million for watching.